In stage 51, we get the GPS system. So take your GPS system, okay, and position it onto the front of the chassis, like so, lining up the two holes, and then taking your two M2 six millimeter screws, secure that down. into position like so okay do that with both screws and that completes this stage In stage 52 we get the electronic control unit, so take the bottom cover and the electronic control unit and be very careful because it was be only fit in one way, it's a bit tight the other, place the control unit, be very careful not to touch the circuit board unless you're wearing an electronic anti-static strap, place that into position, then once you've done that Take hold of the flight sensor from stage 50 and connect up the connector like so. Then take in the cover, make sure that we carefully place that into position, but making sure also that that goes the right way round okay so once you've done that place that in position and then turn that over okay and then pop that in and then carefully fold over the cables and then place the top on like so and then taking your four screws that were provided, screw that down, securing that into position. Once you've done that, fix your flight control unit to the chassis with the four screws that are provided with this stage, okay? And then take the GPS connector and connect that up to the GPS connection like so. And then start connecting up your motors starting off with number one Okay, which goes into number one, number two, which goes into number two, number three, and finally number four. Next. You want to take your connector from the LED connector and then place that into the bottom of the other side of the flight control board, like so. And then taking the ribbon cable, noticing once again the position Place that in line, leaving the last two connections free, and then pushing that into position. Like so.
Next, fix your receiver to the chassis and secure that down with double-sided tape that was provided in previous stages. And then carefully following steps 21 and 22, you then need to wire up the receiver using from the flight controller. Okay, and then once you've done that, that completes this stage.